You know the saying, everything is bigger in Texas? Sure. We're in China and it's massive here. It's the new Texas. You want big, you come to the Shanghai Auto Show. That's where we are. One year it's in Beijing, next year it's in Shanghai. Just as an idea of how big this auto show is. Now imagine Sky Dome in Toronto, the big O in Montreal, say BC Play Stadium. Big, massive football stadiums, right? That's just one pavilion of this. There are seven of them here. Seven of them that big. It's absolutely enormous. And one thing that they love here in China, same as in North America, the SUV. The Chinese market is enormous. This year, Chinese will buy almost 23 million brand new cars. As a comparison, Canada buys just under 2 million cars each year. And just like North America, the Chinese are crazy for SUVs. And one big twist, SUVs and electric. The biggest car brand by far in China is Volkswagen and the Volkswagen Group. In fact, Volkswagen plans to have 12 SUVs in the Chinese market by the end of 2020. The most eye-catching is their all-new electric ID Rooms. Now, the Rooms is the latest concept in our ID family. It's the big sport utility. When it hits market, which is going to be a lot sooner than you can imagine, it's going to be a seven-passenger vehicle, very luxurious, and it's going to come in as the real flagship of our electric car onslaught. The MEV platform is allowing us to build so many different vehicles because it's our goal to be a world leader by 2025 when it comes to electric vehicles. We want to be selling 1 million units a year, and we think we can do it with vehicles such as the Rooms. Volkswagen is so confident with their SUV strategy for the Chinese market, they hosted an event to showcase their current lineup and all their new vehicles coming within the next few years. Volkswagen probably is going to be, again, at, in volume, volume terms, around half SUVs, half non-SUVs. And the non-SUVs basically will mainly split up in basically probably two or three core segments. We will have a, sort of a piece of the world going into wagons and hatches, that's Europe. We'll have a big part of the world still staying with sedans of uh, sort of ma many shapes and many sort of uh, vehicle classes. And there might be actually sort of a crossovers between SUVs and MPVs. Uh, but actually the, the core models in our, key, in our core regions will remain the framework of our brand. Well, Brian, this is our fourth time coming to China. We've been to Beijing show once and the Shanghai show three times. And man, has a lot changed. The best thing about going to a foreign auto show, all the different models and makes that you see here. Now, there's so many domestic brands here. Over 100 Chinese brands are showcased at this year's show. Now, years ago, they were good from far, but far from good, cheap and cheerful. Now you see the Chinese domestic cars. They rival on design, interior fit and finish, and basically the overall packaging, as good as anybody else in the industry. They're really, really impressive. Even though we won't get the majority of the SUVs slated for the Chinese market, there's one in particular that probably is coming to Canada. In China, the car buying public is just as crazy about SUVs as they are in Canada. The net result is we're investing tons of money developing new SUVs each and every year. And you might think, all right, that's great for the Chinese market, but it has a great spin-off effect for Canada because we can use that investment money to create new vehicles for the Canadian market. And there's been models that we've introduced here that are gonna be making their way to our market simply because we had the demand here in China and now we think we have applications to bring these vehicles over to our market. For example, the Terramont SUV, which we know better as the Atlas. We're showing the all new Terramont X here in Shanghai. And that's a real cool looking coupe five seat version of the Atlas or Terramont, if you will. And we're gonna be bringing a similar vehicle to Canada in the spring of next year. And we won't be calling it the Atlas X. Instead, we're gonna be calling it the Atlas Cross Sport. Cool name, we think, for what's gonna be a really cool vehicle. If you look around here, you'll see a lot of small sport utilities as well, smaller than our Tiguan. We're taking a really close look at each and every one of these. We're looking how they sell, how they do in the market, and you can rest assured that you'll be seeing something very similar on the Canadian market in the not too distant future. 
You know, Zach, it's great being here in Shanghai with Volkswagen, the largest automaker in China. And it's kind of like cheating because we're getting a glimpse into the future. You know that what comes here, eventually some of it is going to arrive in the North American market. We talked already about the Atlas Cross Sport. That's going to be coming. But you like these vehicles, the ID family, right? I love the whole family. I love EVs. Yeah, so this is the latest concept vehicle. So let's go through the timeline. That Atlas Cross Sport is going to be arriving within the next 12 months. And then the ID, the first ID electric uh, vehicle will be arriving by 2021. And you know, some of the other vehicles that they've invested in here will also make it to Canada. So as China goes, so goes the rest of the world. I can't wait.